Assalamu alaikum friends welcome to another google earth engine tutorial in last tutorial we see that how can you export and visualize sentinel 2 image in google earth engine now in this tutorial we will see that how can you mask the clouds from this data set and for this first of all we can increase our area of interest like we can delete our polygon that i made in my previous video okay so this is the code where we see that how can you export the district level boundary from google earth engine just paste it over here just like this so now we have lahore so we can say this to aoi and this is our aoi instead of that polygon just hit control enter but now we want to mask the clouds from this image if you want to know how to do this you can click on top right corner in this tutorial i have showed that how can you filter your district boundary from how gold data set okay so now we will write a function that will mask the cloud from our this collection so first of all we have to declare a function and then the function name that can be mask sentinel2 and clouds so this is the declaration of function and this is the name of our function mask s2 clouds and then our variable that will be a image we want to mask cloud from our image and then what will this function do so we will write over here so first of all we have to select that band that have the detail of cloud and cirrus cloud so that is stored in band that name as qa60 band so we will store that band into a variable name as qa is equal to from image short select so we are going to select that band that name is 2a60 so this band is actually have the detail of cloud and cirrus cloud this is 16 bit band so here if i will expand the bands of our this composite then you can see right over here that this is qa60 band and now in this qa60 band we will target the cloud and cirrus cloud so bit 10 is actually for cloud and bit 11 is actually for cirrus cloud so we will see that what is this bit 10 and bit 11 so first of all we will store them into a variable variable cloud and then bit masks bit mask is equal to one is this and ten so what's that it's mean actually this we just move one to ten digit left side of this zero we are just converting this into a binary number so this is actually showing us that we are targeting clouds and similarly if we want to target cirrus cloud then it will be cirrus bit but for cirrus we will move this 11 digit left side we're converting in into a binary just like this so this is actually targeting our cloud this is targeting our cirrus cloud we want to mask this if the value of QA60 is this then that means that there are cloud or serious cloud available in that image but if they are zero then that means that image is clear so we want to fetch only those pixel where all these value is zero so by this we will mask the cloud from that image so now we will check that if both cloud and serious are both is equal to zero or not so we will do this into a variable name as mask and then equal to qa qa is actually our this band that we have stored into this variable qa then dot now we will use a function that name is bitwise mask bitwise mask bitwise and just copy this one this will check the image bitwise but here we have to uh, replace it with our cloud bit mask and then dot eq eq mean equal to zero so this will check if our cloud bit mask is equal to zero then only fetch that in so this will bring only the clear pixels and same for serious bit mask we will add and and then same that we write above over here just copy this one and paste it over here but this time we will target our serious bit mask just like so this will check that uh, the cloud bit mask and serious cloud bit mask should be zero all pixel should be clear just like this so now just one more line turn image so image will be our satellite image and then we can update mask and mask 
so this mask will tell us whether the pixels are clear or cloudy and this update mask will only keep the good pixels so now we will place this function into our this filter so this line is actually showing that i have to write this over here 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 and here now we will place this function right above our composite so map and this function okay so why we use map right over here this map will go through every image in our collection and it will run this function on all images now if i will hit control enter then we will have image of our ai from this day to this date having this characteristic with cloud and serious cloud mask then we have made its composite and clip it to our area of interest and rest of the code is same that i teach you in previous video so you can export this image from over here let's run this and run this so here this is the image of sentinel 2 that we recently pulled from our google thingen but if you want to remove this no data value you can simply remove this from over here right click over here in properties and in no data just write zero in all these bands and hit ok ok and then drag and drop it over here so now this time this is clear and you can also change the band combination like uh, 8 8 4 and 3 and you can also do a 4 3 2 combination so and this is built up area so many thanks for watching this tutorial if you like this then hit the subscribe and like button and in next tutorial i will provide you a code that will be friendly to use you just have to change the ao and your date then you will have image of sentinel 2 so many thanks take care of